What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Angels of Death. So, I, so I'm recording this same day as the other two episodes just because, holy crap, I cannot wait to get on with this. So, let's just continue. Don't go that way. So, last time, we basically went into this weird house area. So, we're just going to find out what, what's here. Ah. Oh, God, oh, God. Pink, pink. Hey, Ray, what are you doing? Uh, I hear something weird. I'm drinking. I'm drinking my beverage. So, what is this area? This place totally looks like the inside of a home. What's going on? Oh, and also, this stuff, this to my knowledge, is the final ep. Oh, I'm playing as him. To my knowledge, also this stuff. Oh, damn! It's a stinky book. I can't read it. Okay. Dang. It's all sewed together. It's all arms and stuff. The mouse and body are stuck together. Is this some kind of doll? Zach. Wait. No, wait. Stop it, Zach. And if you get it, have mercy. So we'll go. So don't go around just blindly touching stuff. Huh? Zach. Stop it, Zach. You've been acting all weird lately. What are you using your shit over this kind of stuff for now? What? What the hell? It's a. Stiff. Effing gross. Zack, hey, please, oh please. I beg you, hurry up and kill me. Hey, where did that come from? Please, hurry. What are you blabbering about? How would I kill you here? We're not even, out, we're not even outside yet. But that's not the look I want to see in your face when I do it. But... This book. I remember. It's a Bible. God hates liars and God hates liars and the impure. <sighs> Please, Zach. Hurry and kill me before you know too much. Please. As I am now, kill me. Please. If you're my God. Hey. Stop screwing around and get a hold of yourself. What? She could collapse on me all of a sudden. Maybe she's ex exhausted. Don't blame her. She's nothing so weird, so and panicky. Damn it! Damn it! Just now gets a disappeared, a disappeared filled look in her face. Oh, God. It's no fun for making that face me now. My God, huh? So she's talking about me. What's going on here? The whole thing sickens me. What? Oh, what's this? Did it fall out of Ray's bag? I can't read it. Man, her photo's on. Which means this is mine and the other is Ray's? These numbers do make sense though. But still. Damn, we're making annoying faces. What's that sound? What? I'm gonna think of it. I don't know if did find out where that bastard Danny ran off to. The sound is coming from where I came in. What was that? It's coming from outside here. What? Huh? Hey, so this toy was that's making that sound. <laughs> that's weird. Damn it. This is leading me with super shit while I'm on the edge. What? It worked, I'm ri- No! Okay, I know what it is. Now, now, don't you know that breaking stuff is the answer for everything? Good 
sack. Don't hit the door so hard. Tired Rain would wake up from her nap. Danny, you bastard. Too bad, it won't budge even with your strength. Looks like the doors on this floor are quite sturdy indeed. Hey, what's all this about? Open the door, Danny. Yes, Zack. I could open it, but now's not the time. Isn't that right, Rachel? Oh, I, I do hope she opens her papers soon. Hey, if you touch a hair on her head, you're dead. No need for that attitude, Zack. I won't harm her. But now I have a full death, deck. Rachel's safety and how to find a way out of this building. What? Now use that worthless brain of yours to come up with what I'm about to say to you, you illiterate fool. I'm going to give you some clues and extend the helping hand. You stood complacency by her side, oblivious. Worst of all, she refers to you as her god. And you weren't even opposed to the idea. Fuck her, I'm gonna talk like. And talk like normal so I can understand. Now go and learn about her. This floor is the very essence of her. I'll let you decide when. What's truly best for her? Depending on your choice, I'll get you out of here. Sans Rachel, that is. Song Dumber. What kind of half-ass explanation is that? Hey, wake up, Ray! She slumbers, hiding such lovely jewels. Until you know her, she shall remain this way. Hey! Cut the bullshit! Oh, boy. Shit! Know her? She must be hiding a hell of a secret, then. Oh, God, some other stuff. Ah, oh, there's no use in thinking about it. Maybe someone will turn up if I tear the whole place apart. Anyway, I have to get there by going around from here. Okay. So I'm playing as Zach right. Okay, huh? Oh! What's that just now? Got a dodge warm shish kebab. Oh. They get hit. What's this? What's going on here? Put some cheap bits of death word all, written all over it. She would have pain in the ass. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? It's like a whiteboard. Some sort of writing on it. She wish she could read. You have to pick it up for the hell of it. Okay. Yeah, the four squeaks, we can split the bit. Squeaks like crazy. Again, I gotta save? Oh. A pitch trap, damn it hurt. I die, what? There wasn't even a day, there wasn't even like a game over, just boot me back to home screen. Story door's locked, okay. How does this thing open? Sorry, doors are locked. That's what... Dang. So nothing here right now. I'm gonna go down here. <gasps> Dominoes! Is it actually... It's actually Dominoes! <laughs> it's actually Dominoes, wow. What's Pete's doing here? Can I eat it? Hot. Don't. I thought I thought it was gonna be game over. What a freaking hot fuck a fucking plate. Fuck. What a fucking sex sort of trap is this shit? Huh? Or is there a basement or something? What freaking budge? Smash of your scythe. 
pussy ball kick, kick, kick it all I want, but it won't get me anywhere. Locked. Guess that's where he would have pain the ass. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. It's not even cold. Nothing here. Oh, area. The bathroom. The bathroom full of water. It's all murky. Maybe it's in here. Nothing. Oh wait, something shining. Hey, something inside. Oh man. Ah, crap. Gross. I get. Got it. Gross. You're kidding me? A key? I dip should have put a key somewhere like this. My hands gonna wash them. No water from the go. Oh my gosh, yeah, I find dude there. The water can shut off. And the only water is what's in here, huh? Stir dude, better than washing the shit, I guess. Huh? Ow! What? Someone bit me! The hell was it? this fish come on now for, for tiny fish you got some razor sharp teeth in that in that attitude silver fishes don't know what they're placing in the food chain they look like food look at my hand it's dripping with blood i guess what's gonna prove it over that uh, that i don't know let's go let's go and lock the door all right a door for key I found early in the bathroom. I'd rather not touch this key. Looks like I got no other options. There we go. It opened. So it's own stairs, huh? Alright. Here we go. Another weird place. It's a basement. Everything's so damn complex. The hell can I find out about her here anyway? Man, a recent animal. Something's in there. You sense parts of animals from the other side of the door. Oh, what's in there? Uh oh. Oh no! Oh shit, it's, there's a monster mutts. What the hell's up with this place? You hungry, y'all? Oh, dirty and covered in drool. Back off, beat your ass if you bite me. Not like taking a beating, eh? You're good as dead, you filthy mongrels. Get bitten. I am rapidly hitting the little confirm key. Go, 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 go. Don't ever bite me! Dang. Dang! Hey, out of the way, you dumb mutt! Ready for another round, eh? Bring it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! Oh man. Some pooches waste my time. Plus this bites her like a bitch. Who's a dog anyway? The guy in this forest definitely has a screw loose. As far as the very essence of Ray, or so he said. The hell was anybody supposed to tell me about Ray? Yeah, I don't know. Sum it up ahead. Spins my way. Oh, whoa. Whoa. It's a mountain attack, you junk. Some toy. Okay, I guess you gotta go in here. This is locked up too, huh? How'd I open it? Damn, no 
lot of ideas. Try to learn more about her, but I can't keep up. I guess I'm gonna smash around. The box on this room makes no freaking sense. Man, this place is more effed up than my room. Wouldn't hurt to clean up every now and then. Guess I'll just go somewhere else. Could go back to that room and do something about that before the eyeball freak wakes way up. What? I summoned some again. Shit, another trap? Uh oh! For fuck's sake, what kind of house is this? This guy charges for his head examined. Crap. One wrong, one wrong move and the wood will give way. I fall. Then it'd probably be a goner. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh. You would do well to be more real wary, Zach. Who said that? Oh, this dude. Although I expected something like this would happen. Expect it, except my expect a knife in your belly. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, he helped him up. Why did you save me? Come now. What fun, what fun would it be if your story were to end there? Sorry about that. I opened up Instagram real fast and yeah. The girl who paid no mind to my warning and threatened me with a knife. Rachel Garner is with Danny, I presume. You were on a quest to take her back, were you not? So what? What do you want from me? Hmm. Zach, could it be that you have learned to feel emotions through all this? So freaking funny. Stop smiling. Wipe that smug off your face. Oh, forgive me. I didn't intend to ridicule you. But what the hell did you intend? I was merely intrigued as to what came over you. Oh, what do you mean came over you? What the hell is everyone so damn cryptic? And you're the biggest question mark of them all. Now what, now what the hell do you mean? Hmm, very well, Zach. It appears sophisticated manners are not your strong suit. Allow me to explain. Ever since childhood, I have observed those devout to God. Some were, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that, most others were blind and ugly. At times, people would exploit God as an instrument to condemn non-believers, and then pretentiously flaunt God's imagery. Imagery. I suppose it always weighed on my mind. What would God truly think if He saw those people? Or so I asked myself. What? Could you be civil and heed what I have to say? Though earnest, she lacks such consideration. Oh, give it a rest, will you? I told you to make it simple so I can get you talking about. None of you said makes any sense. Very well. In short, I wish to see things through the Lord's own eyes by playing the role of God in this place. This building serves as a garden of sorts to put my idea to the test. Those placed on floor B7 are not mere subjects to be monitored. An angelic intervention was required to test an exact justice on those that brought here. Those who possessed no opposition to bloodshed were adept. Danny, Eddie, Kathy, and you, Zack. Although I suppose I suspected that you have qualities far removed from others. Huh? You were exceedingly pure and innocent. And under an unadulterated murderer. 
was it precisely why I intended to bring you here as one of my angels? Nonetheless, you have broken the rules here, thus making you a sacrifice. As you are attempting to leave this place. So you do want to kill me, huh? I am still speaking. Do not misunderstand me. It appears that you, who only desire to leave this place, are attempting to take Rachel Gardner with you. Therefore, I became the curious as to why. So both of you have become, have now become monitored subjects. Makes no fucking sense either way. Uh, that is perfectly fine with me. I did not. I do not think you were verbally capable of conveying your feelings anyway. Besides, I am not done monitoring you yet. So we shall see what comes to pass. So you're watching everybody? Seriously, Reverend? That was my original intent. Though if that bothers you, I apologize. Oh, bullshit, what the hell is an apology gonna do for me? Well, come to think of it, solving a puzzle imposed by Danny may be someone beyond your abilities. Shall I lend you some assistance? Huh, seriously? Well, idling time away is also a dull act, you see. Should you find yourself at odds, then come hither for my counsel. In exchange for my help, however, I should like to keep watch over your actions. <laughs> Sorry? I wish to see how you intend to leave this place, what you're pers persevering to become, and who you really are. Fine. Oh, before that, Zack, answer me this. How did you feel when Rachel Gardner called you God? Damn, it never ends with these people. They creep me out. Is that so? Hey, do me a favor. Yes? Some talking riddles all the damn time. Such a major pain to ask me. Ever seen one of you idiots? Ever seen one of you are just idiots to me? Is that so? Okay, let's go. Alright, so what I have? Nothing. Wait, can I just have? Can I just hand him the place and read it out? What's wrong? It's nothing. If I wouldn't break even, I chucked up against the wall. Okay, can I smash this stuff? Is this fire even real? Uh, what do I do? Hey, yes. Don't yes me. What should I do? Sounds like I don't got a clue. Sounds like I don't have a clue anymore. Enough of my lock doors everywhere, so plus no keys. The only thing I got is just this plate. Zack, is that just an ordinary plate? Huh? No, it's some writing on it. But I can't read it. Names were written on it. Names? The name plate is meant to be hung on the door of its owner room, Zack. Try hang it somewhere that comes to mind. I guarantee you will get a response from it. Okay, so guy, maybe I go to those two rooms that are locked. Okay. Yep. Can't get... Can't read. I'll take it wherever. Okay, let's go! Let's go! Go upstairs. There we go. Do I need here? Try it. Whoa! Pay dirt. Push through this and get in. Whose room is this? Just a plain old room. Oh, there's a. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. Small keys inside the box. K. 
Can you start to open the box and base? Let's go! Oh! What the? Tits on Christ! Do it! down! Oh my gosh! Oh! Ah! We're good. Yeah, prick, stop effing with me, house. Person charts this for needs a lobotomy. Oh, she won't open. This is place to ray anyway. Never mind, I got a key. Anyway, because I gotta keep going to find out more about her. Guess we'll head downstairs. Alright. Let's go. Open. What? So plays music when it opens. So just piles of dang junk. I'm always a kid's play things. Something inside. Now another player's writing is inside. Smaller than the one before. What's the light writing sound? I've seen this dragon before. Guess I'll get going. Alright, I think I know what I gotta do again. Oh, never mind. Hey, are you just play the same as the one before? Huh, so you found the other one. Alright, the sturdy door is locked. There's no door now. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Come on. I don't know his name is still. Oh, well, it's something that opens. Okay, it opened. It opened, it opened by Pistis. What? I don't see this place writing somewhere before. What? This right paper's a fell to raise back. Ugh, might as well be in gibberish. I can't read it. Hey, it's a photograph, so this must be Ray's. What are these numbers for? It says Ray's is 13 and mine is 20. Is it our ages? Okay, so the sp spaces between the photographs and ages are our names. First letter in Ray's name matches the first letter on the plate. The next letter also matches the next letter on the plate. And the next ones. They all match. Well, what do you know? I knew I'd seen them before. So that means this is Ray's room, huh? How what's a room doing here anyway? It cut by because it's how it's her house, maybe. Never mind that. I'm curious about what's in store for me next. Given what's been going on so far in this house, but nothing good is waiting for me in her room. I guess I go for a bit further down the rabbit hole. Can't say I'm not curious. Oh wow! Is this her room? Why is it blood? Fourth Bright red. The normal is that bad, not, is that bad shit crazy? Got no clue. What's on the TV? Does this thing turn on? What is it? Oh boy. Remains in Sayward Diet Okay, the remains of Mr. Mr. Miss Garden are discovered in their private residence. So her parents are dead? Based on the blade inflicted slashing bullet holes on the remains, incidents being treated as a homicide. 
Found more than a week after death, their mates are badly mutilated. Have been sewn together and naturally were fred. The daughter, Rachel Gardner, was safely taken to protective custody. However, reports indicate that due to her exhibiting signs of trauma, she is currently being questioned about the incident. What? Huh? Who, who's, who's that? I can't tell if that's... Oh, that's... Okay, that's Daniel. So it's, I'm assuming this is before we go to Saints. I'll assume this. Rachel, why don't we talk about a bit of an in-depth talk for a system today? Was I right or something? The fear? I got it. I'm going to talk to myself. It's time for a change. Aha, uh -huh, he looked at me. Oh, I knew it. You're... Your people are so beautiful. Well, I'm to tell you the truth. One of my eyes made of glass. I was born without, without an eye, you see. And the child and mother worried herself sick about it. Just worried and worried with its dark peepers. Dark and tranquil peepers. I vanished as a child, my silhouette in them was only fleeting. Even so, I still loved my mother. Her peepers were so precious. Rachel, did you hate your parents? No. Well then, why do you think... What?! Well then, why did you think you cut and sew them out? Huh? So... So she killed her parents? Oh my... I wanted a family. I see. How did you come to feel this way? How? Good question. Come to think of it, didn't you find a puppy in the alleyway near your house? It was tiny and cute, yet so fragile. I wanted to keep that puppy so bad. But I would get in trouble if I took it home. First one home telling about the puppy. Wow. What? Ah, uh, what do you always contradict me? Well, who would listen to an alcoholic for a start? I was at work all day, and I hate being here at this house. That's quite a mouth you got there. Who the hell is some useful wino cop like you? Some wino cop like you? Oh, tell me another one, you bitch. Alcohol so let's poison that shit from now. Oh, wow, so she was in a abusive house. Damn. You're hurting me. Stop it. Stop it. I'm unhappy having you. I'm unhappy having one for a psychotic life like you. Not a career existence of rich. Damn. Tell me why you're so unhappy. You don't want to make me. You don't want to make it me this way. It's your fault. It's all your fault. In the kitchen today. I wonder if they'll listen to me. Or were you walking around so late? I'm talking to you so hard, do you got half a brain in that head of yours? Um, no, so you got something to say to me? Hold it. Where do you think you're going with that money? Boost? Some, oh, what? Not saying that? Yeah, that's playing on making me miserable again? Stop laughing, it gets my nerves. I'm gonna buy my own happiness. And that's so then, while you're out, can you buy me, buy my happiness too? 
Go buy some hats for an unhappy wrench like me. Not only are you happy, you also burn for all the money. As he says, he's gonna go get money. What kind of mental case he can't make ends meet? Oh, it's always my fault, is it? You always blame me. Ah, oh, you foul bastard, your filthy hands are sore even by my own life. Your brain body acts it all soaked in booze. Ah. Hey, Dad, um, I'm not as much as family's miserable. We can have booze or cope. Don't read from the hell you created. It's you, you're the one screwing me up, screwing this family up. It's not my fault, it's all yours. <sighs> you're me, you good for nothing. Shut the F up, you crazy bitch. Oh my gosh. Mary is the worst thing that ever happened to me. Don't want to hit anyone, but you're asking for it. A creepy bitch who can't say what the crazy bitch thinking. My well, let hit rock bottom because both of you effed it up. Wow. Oh. Mom, one day, one day, I will kill him. I gotta make them listen. There's no reason to leave. Shoot him. So it happens to me, I'll fight back with this. I used to kill that bastard. I'll show him now I've got a secret weapon hidden here. When the time comes, that bastard will blow up like a baby, he'll rip everything. Hope bad, I don't tell me what's right all along. It didn't have to be this way, it just happened because of him. Mom? Ray, what is it? Mom, I've got to talk to you about something. I can't deal with you right now. The kids are dreadful mess and I gotta pick up, clean it up. Not in the safe to be listening to whatever you have to say. Please listen, you'll get mad if you don't ask for permission first, right? <laughs> you my own daughter won't do what she's told. You're being cured, so you got me stuck in this hell. You're very... Damn, dude! It's like I'm doing your work as far as making you sick to my stomach. Go upstairs to your room. Mom, if I listen to you, then will you listen to me? Go now. Don't be seeing any more of a miserable and cruel mother than I. <sighs> Crap, dude. You know what's just a, what I'm about to say? Why is that? Mom was hiding something over there. Her secret weapon to make herself heard? It's gonna be a gun. Yep. A handgun? So something like this was here. Secret weapon? Wow. In the end, nobody listened to what I had to say. And then a while later, I went to go visit that puppy. The puppy was already weakened. Why couldn't fall over dead any moment? When I reached out to pet that puppy, it bit me. That would happen until I get home is so hazy. When I came to, I was in my room, fixing that puppy. But I soon found out. Gosh, Mom and Dad were fighting growing loud that day. What a good boy, such a good boy. Because each of them just saved me forever. It's okay, don't be scared. It's all your fault, it's some grunt. It's your fault that sets kids up abnormal. <sighs> I can't say this anymore. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What? Huh? Gosh, it's really bad today. The kitchen gets not take a peek. I don't have a gun. Yeah, yeah, this, so I was right. It is Ray's house. The handgun's still inside. Do I... If I was to take it, okay. 
What? Reeks of alcohol. Keep going. I do remember what I saw there. Oh my god! What are you doing? So you saw that, huh? Didn't you? Now you for all long. Every hurts makes me admissible. That's why you too must Get out, run! Oh how awful, simply awful. I gotta get my I gotta get to my room. Come to think of mom was hiding a gun for this moment. In that case, it's okay for me to take it then. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's loaded. Acquired handgun. I gotta hurt it. Bro. It's safe. Don't be afraid. There's no need to worry. I'm in a have no choice here. Do you think your father's crazy, right? Yes, very much. Crazy as me. I'm in your room take it talking to that thing. Something's not right with you. Why don't you open that box? I just thought you're insane. The hell did you do that dog? It's a patchwork corpse. That dog, you killed it, didn't you? up his belly and suing his mouth shut feel good no it just became mine it became my perfect puppy hey dad become my become my perfect daddy Wow. It's all right. I'll fix you. I've worked so mom and dad to each other. We did sort of get along with each other. Now he's put his dad's bad arm with his stuffed toys. So mom's mouth starts when she so she make a big smile. It's my perfect dad and mom. Our first play each day with our puppy, oh, it was so much fun. So when the piece took them all away from me, I was so sad. I see what you mean. I understand your sadness, Rachel. Can I ask for one thing? If that little animal, little animal died to orphans who took you in, do you know why? Did you do that too? Yeah. So why'd you feel need to stitch it up too? Or you absolutely adore that pup? You did adore him, that's right. I really loved him. But it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Yeah, it was something I wanted. I wanted something for my family. Something to call my own. But for some reason, things didn't play like they should. They never play like they should, huh? So Rachel, you want something to call your own? No more things to call your own, do you? Rachel, 
The mother took her own life. My eye is what killed her. The paper spirits strike me resemblance to the ones I lost all my mother's. Dark, tranquil, and most of all beautiful. I don't know if you're a peep. A little weird. A lot of dark, of the dark glow in them sparkles for eternity. I said if I to go to the grand choice of the world. Right, Rachel? you show me this for I'm supposed to tell me something about Ray the handgun needle Fred and the corpse stall in that one room Rachel Gardner Ray so this is her for huh this means the killer here is guess I'll get going the eyeball freaks us when we get in that room. He's got another thing coming. Wow, wow. I was not expecting that. It's open. She's good, she's good. Hey, wake up. You have enough shut I get your ass up. Sick. I'm so sorry. And I'm so sure that I want to drag you down too. Shut up, none of that shit matters. Listen to me. Ray, I need you to answer me. The people who come to this floor. Are you gonna kill them? Hey, explain yourself. Can you stop getting up with Rachel, Zack? Watch out. Back off. What a simpleton you are. It's impulsive. Dr. Danny. Like, good morning, Rachel. Deliberate of bringing Zack on this bridge and everything about you. Oh my. All those turbid papers. You thought that they could involve me in any moment. What the hell's going on? Am I gonna be killed by you since I'm on your floor? No, never. Now, Rachel, you mustn't lie. Don't understand me. I don't wish to put a bullet through your head. Hey! Silence when you give it a rest. I didn't say I'm as desperate as you. Didn't I say I must make her I must make her understand that. Because a low life monster like yourself must be dying to know as well. Rachel killed her parents and taken her perfect family. I was assigned to be her therapist. If I was it was I then I had seen maybe made your resident here on this floor. Well, the re reference didn't seem very taken of the idea. I was convinced everything would be fine. Fine. Sorry. Most of all, her peepers. I longed to protect her eternal solitude at my cost. At any cost. But her spirit was shattered. Before I knew it, she was reading a Bible plays in this room, right? Naturally, the reverend wouldn't allow me to sign someone like her as a floor guardian. Tell me, Rachel. How could a comic like the person like you become so corrupted? I want to achieve my own idea. Deal. I couldn't accept anything other than that. But the Bible told me that it was me who would not be accepted. Ah, and so, you try to die, assuming the guise of someone normal, pure, and innocent. And Zack. Rachel was convinced she would get away with it with your help. A fool who swore it off to God and to top it all off, became the very thing for it that she swore that you swore to. 
Rachel, you already knew, didn't you? No matter how much one reads the Bible or realizes one's mistakes, one can never deceive one's true self. Someone in the heart of yours, you secret to wish to, to own Zack, did you not? Oh, how wonderfully horrible. Well, Zack, you've come to a crossroads. Die here, climb down from your exalted al altars, raise God, and leave her here alone. What shall it be? She can no longer be undone. Rachel can no longer return and must stay here. She's effectively deceived you. Ray, is what Danny's saying true? Yes. Damn it. That's right, Zach. So you lied to me, huh? And it's Zack. Zack, will you sleep with my god? Do you want to trust yourself to me? I'm... I'm not some god of yours. <phone rings> Wonderful, can I say it any better myself? Well, Rachel, you turn it to your usual self now. Tell me what it is you desire, and I'll make it come true. Oh, and Zach, feel free to run along. Those bastards don't tell me what to do. Wait. Rachel? I've given him a foul sin, that much I know. But it's no use just knowing it goes a sin. So why that's bad, I just can't figure it out. Is it futile, Jack? Is it Zack? I'm wrong, or you know my god, Zack? But I need one, Zack. I need a god. Ray! What? Huh? Oh, Ray, that's a very easy your penis are the most beautiful. Zack, I'm afraid I have to track my offer to let you go. Now my top priority is who wishes. Well, you only have to go after even if you can leave your own death, Zack. To fulfill our wishes and become her servant. Ah, oh, shit, wait. Crap. Come on. Where hell is she? Still a bar, don't do it. That's in there. Oh, no, fuck's sake. I had a feeling this was more than you, Zach. I thought I'd heard a weight up. Shit out of me. I'm gonna fire, huh? I'll head off and get you. Hey, cut it out. Three, two, huh? One. Ugh. Shit. I just want one theater. But you really do hate fire, don't you? You up. Run out of room. Oh no! What? Oh, it's a boulder. What the hell? Oh, I. I don't know why I did that. All right. What? All right. So I'm some guy go. There we go. Oh, that's too much crazy for me. 
pals will F on me. Remember that, you idiot. Hey, how long are you planning to get brought in? Are you gonna shoot me? Will that kill you? If you're gonna kill me, how do I kill you first? It can't be that way now. Zach, it was you from the very start. Even though my soul told me that I gotta die, I gotta be killed. But God never desired an abomination like me. He has no use for me. And it was you, Zach, who swore to God that you would kill me. Once I learned that God doesn't exist, I made you my God, Zach. Ray, listen to me. How many times do I gotta say this? I ain't your God. Yes, I wear Zach. What are you aware of? My lies are so. My God is dead. Hey, wait. Damn it. You almost know wonder what I gotta say. And then he just says her piece of runs off on her own. Okay, so we're gonna end the episode here. This was it. This was a crazy episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next part. Peace.